how do I even start this? Um, one of my goals for 2022 was to pass all my tests. I didn't know COVID was going to be one of them. All I wanted for 2022 was positivity. I didn't mean to be COVID positive. You know, I've been completely sober for one year. But then I got Corona. So in all seriousness, I actually did get COVID. And here's what happened. Before the New Year's, I went on a trip to Las Vegas and I had the best time of my life. So many sites I saw, but also so many people I encountered. Plus the new variant was just highly transmissible. We wore masks the entire time, but again, so many people I encountered. The energy was high, emotions were on top of the roof, but then I got home and this happened. <coughs> so right now I'm driving to the clinic to get tested not me getting dizzy from my driving like why am i getting motion sickness from driving and i'm the one just driving which i'm getting tested i hope it turns out negative because well i don't want to be covid positive starting off the new year with some positivity <clears throat> no i had to call out from work today because i'm sick and this week is my last week from work i'm quitting on sunday and i can't afford to be sick right now because i need those hours which i need to earn some money hopefully this rapid test turns out negative Hey, <laughs> got out of the clinic and I tested positive. What the fuck? I don't even know what to think at the moment. <laughs> it just made sense in my mind that I already had it because I just had the cold two weeks ago. And it was just impossible to think that I was gonna get sick again because I got my flu shot. So it wasn't gonna be the flu. And all the symptoms that I had were all aligned with the symptoms of the new variant. This isn't to be like quirky and be like, oh my God, COVID, uh, positive. I'm actually genuinely concerned for my health, but this is just how I cope. I try to make things lighthearted and add some humor to it because I don't know how to deal with this right now. I'm gonna go rest. Not in peace, but I'm gonna rest and recover and get back up, period. After testing positive, I got home and felt my temperature rising. I was coughing, I had sore throat, I had a fever, I had everything. So now I'm just experiencing some mild fever. I feel really weak, I feel fatigued. I decided to take some antipyretics. Yes, antipyretic. You know, I gotta flex what I learned from nursing school. I tried to rest and relax, but my room was too messy. Now you might ask, Lance, What's the connection here? Now, I'm the type of person who can't just be still with the idea of my environment being messy and me not doing anything about it, especially when I'm not even doing anything. So I decided to clean my room. And by cleaning my room, I mean shoving all my stuff in my closet so it's out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind, baby. So first off, let's start with this area. So I have a trash bag here. I have this pitcher of water with lemon inside. I have my mask here. I have this pulse oximeter. I have Tylenol here. I have my temperature gun. My thermometer, cough candy. Here I have dinola. That's my dinner. Some rice. <coughs> Here I have my diffuser. Then I opened my window partially for some ventilation. And then I fixed my bed, fixed my desk. Here I have my heater. And that's really it. That's my room tour, COVID edition. Me. How I feel right now. Now, day two felt better. I wasn't burning like I was yesterday, but I still felt really fatigued and kept coughing. So I just laid in bed all day and ordered some food to make myself feel better. Which is also interesting because of all of the symptoms that I had, one that I didn't have was loss of taste. You call it unusual, I call it a blessing. Day three, I felt like I was slowly gaining back my energy and my symptoms were starting to fade. Today is day three. I'm actually feeling a lot better now. Doesn't sound like it, but I am. For the past few days, my fever has been on and off, but today I had no fever at all. My temperature didn't rise. I do still cough, but only to let the phlegm out. Like I don't get urges to cough, if that makes sense. Congestion, as you can hear. However, there has been something going on since actually when I first started experiencing symptoms, which is I would feel this kind of pressure on my head and it makes me dizzy so i don't know if it's dizziness or a headache maybe it's both but imagine this feeling right now do it right now i want you to press your palm like really deeply on top of your head that's what i'm feeling right now it's not noticeable when i'm laying down but whenever i get up to go to the bathroom or to go eat or to change and especially showering i just got out of the shower and that's when i realized i actually have this symptom because i was standing for too long even right now actually if i just stay still it feels like my head is shaking i started breaking out more when i was washing my face i felt these like really deep cystic painful acne and i was like it just had to 
to happen right now, huh? All at once. But this is just a minor setback. I'm already thinking of so many stuff to do after. This is just a slight setback, you know, like a slingshot. The more you set back the slingshot, it goes further. So this is just my setback. I'm gonna get slingshotted further as the year progresses. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm getting dizzy. I door dashed from LNL and got the Moco Loco. This is good, but this setting with this plating makes it look like hospital food. Every time I film, you just catch me eating, huh? Like that's all I'm doing, but that literally is all I'm doing. Either I'm laying down or I'm eating. Honestly, sounds like vacation. I probably would have been doing the same thing if I didn't have COVID. Now, day four was something else. I felt like all my symptoms were gone, but I don't know if being emotional is a symptom because... You know what, just roll the clip. Oh my god, I was watching this little boy play piano and I just started started tearing up. <laughs> this COVID thing making me emotional as well. Yeah, day four was something else. I guess you would call that a symptom. <laughs> now day five, I guess I didn't feel anything at all. I don't know, that's what I said. So today is day five. Honestly, I don't really feel anything at all. Like I'm just totally numb at this point. I'm also filming from this view because I want something new. And also I was reviewing the past footages that I've been filming and my cheeks are so swollen. Like you can tell that I've been getting fluffier. I mean, I shouldn't be blaming myself for being sedentary when I'm literally COVID positive. Not me fighting this deadly disease in my room and I'm worried about gaining weight. Oh my God. So while I was showering, you know, I was feeling fine. I wasn't as weak as I was the past few days. So I started busting out some moves when I was in the shower. I started dancing in the bathroom. And then after that, I did feel a little out of breath. I don't know if that's one of my symptoms, which is shortness of breath, or maybe I'm just out of shape because I've been so sedentary. For the first few days, I was like, oh yeah, at least I get to sit in bed and watch YouTube all day. But now I'm getting isolation fatigue. I've just been stuck in this 10 square meter bed. That's okay, it's very comfortable. Can't wait to go to the gym, hang out with friends. Probably not because one of my friends actually tested positive. Get well soon, Michelle. We're in this together. See you at day six. Now day six, same thing as yesterday. I was feeling fine, but super over being stuck in my room. Today is day six. It's Saturday. Doesn't look like it because I've been wearing this jacket this entire time. Super ready to get out of this room. I'm fine. I feel good, better than ever. Though my voice still sounds different, but I feel like I recovered. I beat COVID. I'm now officially a COVID survivor. Where's my medal? Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully I can go outside already. I've been rotting in this room for too long. See you tomorrow, hopefully outside. Now, day seven. I decided to finally go back to the testing site. My symptoms were going away. I felt better than ever. So I go get my swab test at this clinic where my mom works at and results take about 15 minutes. My mom who works at the clinic said, just go, I'll text you the results. I was so certain that I was gonna test negative and finally be able to go out. So I parked by this boba place waiting patiently for my mom's phone call. As I I counted by the second, I would see people coming out of this boba place with their black sugar boba tea. And mind you, I was salivating at this point. I had been craving boba this whole week. And the only thing keeping me apart from this boba was that negative test result. So my mom finally called me. So your result actually came back positive still. The disappointment, the anger, the frustration. I was in my car and that boba place was right across me. But like the mature person that I am, I shamefully just drove back home, distressed, hopeless, and boba -less. And the next day I went to go get tested again, which is the actual PCR test and not just the rapid antigen test. And I finally tested negative. Yeah boy survived COVID. I would rate this experience a one out of 10, definitely not recommend. Go get your vaccines, please. But if there's one thing I learned from this experience was you really do miss out living in a bubble and being just stuck somewhere. You miss out on so much when you just stay within your box and you don't realize that until you get out of it. Once I got out of isolation, everything felt so foreign. I felt so disoriented just by even walking down the stairs. When I finally went outside, I started to appreciate the little things, like a simple fresh of breath air outside or even taking walks that I actually never knew I needed. So go enter this year grateful outside of your comfort zone. Think out of the box and let's start the year with a bang and a jab. This is Lance signing off. what I did? I did that.